Printed circuit boards are robust, compact, and easily mass-produced, but they raise challenges in debugging due to difficulties in accessing, isolating, and iterating on the components and connections of the circuit. For example, sources of error are often hidden beneath components, and manually probing signals is slow and error-prone. Even state-of-the-art PCB testing equipment is limited by an inability to modify the board during testing. This makes it difficult to explore solutions without refabricating the board, or to use the many testing approaches that require isolating a component or subcircuit. We introduce Pinpoint, a PCB debugging tool that provides designers with a range of new in-circuit testing methods. Pinpoint consists of several components. A jig board, produced for each design, interfaces the device under test with custom testing hardware, called the control board. The control board then communicates with a software interface. We'll demonstrate Pinpoint's features by walking through an example debugging session with this PCB, a game controller with a left-right thumbstick and a capacitive button. Pinpoint first assists us in the design phase by automatically instrumenting the signals on our board with pairs of test pads. These jumper pads are spliced in the middle of each signal, dividing it so that Pinpoint can programmatically connect and disconnect signals on the board. When finished with debugging, we can solder the pad pairs together to leave the circuit in a fully connected state. Pinpoint then generates a design for a second board, called the jig board, that we fabricate along with the original. The jig board interfaces with the board under test, connecting it to our custom testing hardware and our software interface. We can quickly assemble the jig by soldering in pogo pins and connecting it to the pinpoint system. When we first connect our controller, we can use Pinpoint's built-in oscilloscope to programmatically probe signals and quickly get a sense of our board's behavior. We probe the output of the thumbstick and notice a problem. It stays at zero volts regardless of our input. Next, we instruct Pinpoint to automatically check all of the connections on our board for continuity issues, like short circuits. Pinpoint can automate these routine checks, and in this case tells us that there may be a short between the output of the thumbstick and the adjacent ground pin, which is the source of our problem. While probing, we also notice a significant amount of noise on our power supply. Pinpoint can open and close instrumented connections on our board, and we can use that feature here to quickly localize the source of this noise in our circuit. When we disconnect power to the capacitive sensing chip, the noise disappears, telling us that we may need additional decoupling to reduce the noise from this component. Finally, we try out our capacitive button, but we notice that it doesn't register our inputs. To verify whether the sensor is properly configured and in working condition, we can load and run a functional test. Pinpoint allows users to author or import tests on properties like voltage, frequency, or continuity between two points. These tests can use another feature of Pinpoint, the ability to inject test signals. In this case, the heartbeat test, specified by the manufacturer of our capacitive sensor, injects a test signal on the output of the component and records for characteristic peaks. The test tells us that the chip is working properly. In that case, we decide to try adjusting the sensitivity of the sensor. The sensitivity is set by the value of a capacitor on the board. Normally, trying out new values for this capacitor would require desoldering the component or remaking the board. Instead, we can use Pinpoint to splice new circuit elements and bypass this capacitor. We open the connections, joining the capacitor into the circuit, and then splice in a breadboard by connecting it to indicated sites on the backside of our testing hardware. Now we can rapidly explore different capacitors to find the value that works best in our circuit. Our paper describes and evaluates the capabilities of Pinpoint in debugging various types of issues. Along the way, we explore its usage on a diversity of boards and bugs, such as an analog accelerometer, a digital alarm clock, and an FM radio.